This guide is meant for experienced players if you need step-by-step -step instructions on where to start the quest, how to get to certain locations, or other basic things of that nature. This guide is not for you. The Legends quest will need 107 quest points, 50 agility, 50 crafting, 45 herb lore, 56 magic, 52 mining, 42 prayer, 50 smithing, 50 strength, 50 thieving, and 50 woodcutting. You need to have completed family crest, heroes quest, Shiloh village, underground pass, and waterfall quest. And you need to be able to defeat um, a few level 100 monsters and a level 187 demon a few times. Uh, the required items, and I don't have them all with me. Some of them are still in the bank, as I couldn't fit them all with me. Uh, but machete, two gold bars, at least two gold bars, a hammer, rope, rune or a dragon axe, lock pick, pickaxe, an unpowered orb, a vial of water, uh, an ardrigal from jungle potion quest, uh, snake weed also from the jungle potion quest, uh, sapphire that's cut, cut emerald, cut ruby, cut diamond, cut opal, cut jade, cut red topaz, one soul rune, one mind rune, one earth rune, two law runes, and the runes to cast any charge orb spell. Um, also, uh, minimum one charcoal. I'd bring an extra one just in case uh, you need it. And at least three papyrus, possibly more. Um, then I'd recommend stamina potions, food, and weapons and armor um, to kill the monsters. And also a dueling ring, which I do not have with me right now, but I am going to go grab one. I have a dueling ring and swapped out one of my food for a super combat potion. If you're a low level, um, I may want to, you may want to uh, bank a few more times than I am, because it may be hard to do it all in an inventory like this. Uh, the first part, if you can pray flick, if you have protection prayers and can pray flick, you should be fine. Um, if you don't have protection prayers and you're low level, it will be pretty hard, so you may have to bank a few times. Um, I guess you have to have 42 prayer for the quest anyway, so you should have protection prayers, so you have to pray flick or um, bank after a, f a few different times before I do. I to grab food and stuff, but other than that, um, this is what I would start with at the beginning. And once you're ready, you want to open this gate. Which our option is, uh, um, let me check. The shot option is 312. Going to head north through this door and speak to the Radimus Circle, whatever, the Guildmaster. The shot option is 1 1. It should give you a scroll. You want to teleport to the duel arena or make your way just down to the Kazari jungle which is south of Shiloh however you want I am teleporting to the duel arena taking the glider Once you get here to Karamdra, um, from the glider, if you're taking the glider path, you want to run south, jump across these stones, you want to head over here, chop through the jungle, chop down the tree, Forever. I wonder how many logs I've 
chopped from it. I'm just getting unlucky. Chop through the next tree. Either I've been extremely lucky before or I'm really unlucky right now because this is taking a while. I think it's been two minutes now of me chopping these trees. So anyway, once you finally chop down those trees, you want to kind of run south and you want to click complete on the Radmus notes. And make sure it says completed um, for one of them. And if it doesn't, that means you want to try again, and that means that you may have to go get some more papyrus if you fail. Then you want to run west after you've completed the eastern portion of the map. So run west. Once you're around the center of the jungle, you want to do the same thing, complete Radimus notes. There we go, I finished it, I, or I completed it correctly. Um, so I just want to keep heading west. Once you're pretty far west, you want to do it again. If it says you're not far enough, or you've already mapped this area, then you just have to keep going west even further. So after that, um, it should be complete. Once you've done those three parts, you want to run north. And now you want to get out of the jungle. And my account is chopping down the wrong thing. And that wolf just hit me, I think, every single hit. So much for 85 defense. And the Serp Helm. So anyway, once you're out of the forest, speak to the jungle forester. Chop option is 2-1. I guess it's not it's not 2-1. Um, Ah, my bad. You use your notes on the Forester, then it's 2 1. So you should get a Bull Roarer. And now you want to go back through the jungle. I think I'm chopping down the wrong thing again. Once you're through, you want to get away from this wolf. So I'd head over here. You want to use your bull roarer. And these chickens, or if you buy like chickens or uh, natives or whatever, they'll attack you if you do that. So you don't want to do it around them. I shouldn't have done that. So once you're further away from them, do that, and a guy should pop up and talk to you. Go. Which option is one, 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 and then three more ones. So there's one, one, and one. And now you want to head over here to this rock, and you want to search it. Options one, yes, I want to climb down. Shouldn't that end up in this place? You want to head over here to the flames and investigate the firewall. Which options one, one. So after that, you want to head back out. Make sure you have some inventory space and use your bull roar once again when there's no monsters around. And there is a jungle savage that's got um, that herded or whatever. So we'll try it again. And that savage is still aggressive. 
try and get away from him and speak to Goodjo. Which option is four five five one. He should give you a sketch. You want to teleport to Castle Wars. I know you want to head to any anvil. So I'm going to get a Varrock teleport and head to Varrock. You don't need your charcoal anymore, so you can drop that or bank it, whatever. And you may fail on this, making this bowl. If you do, just try again. You'll have to get two more gold bars. So there we go, we got the golden bowl. I'm going to teleport to the duel arena and head back to the Kazari jungle through the gliders. You can make your way back however you want. You will have to fight a monster coming up, so you may want to bank at Shiloh Village or any bank that you pass by on your way back. If you're low level, I with my level I shouldn't need a bank, I should be fine. So I'm just going to continue on, but lower levels I would recommend banking and bringing as much food as you can carry and prayer potions. So I'm going to head through this again. Actually no, I'm not. I'm going to head west. I'll go through the jungle at an easier location. So I'm going to head over here to this um, spot where there's the Achievement Diary icon. And I will head through right here. And we have to chop through two or three things for this one. And they're not trees, so it's pretty easy. It's just bushes. So once you're through, you want to get away from all the monsters and use your bull roarer again. I guess there was a savage too close. And the options one, yes, plus my bowl. Plus it, and now you want to head towards the pool that's like in the center. Use your machete on a reed. Use your reed on the pool. That should fill up your bowl. Now you want to head to the um, un underground area again. We have to climb down the rocks. Options one, yes, climb down. You may fail like I just did, so then you just have to try it again. Once you're inside, you want to head east. Then you want to search the bookcase. Options one, yes, please. Oh, you just have to try it again. Wow, I just did this quest with 50 agility on another account and I didn't fail once. There's two times in a row with 66 agility. 
But anyway, once you make it, you should end up on the other side. Now you want to use your pick lock on this door and make sure to read the dialogue. Don't skip through it all too fast. If it says you break your pick lock, then you want to just click away, like walk away. Don't, don't click continue. Or if it says you fail, then just use your pick lock back on. Use your pick lock on the door again. Once that you see a click, then just continue through the dialogue, and then use your or just smash to bits these boulders. Wow, I'm failing on these obstacles a lot on this account. There's two fails on the rock. To make your way through all of these rocks. Then you want to open ancient gate. Which option is one, yes. If you're gonna planning on doing the diaries, I'd recommend killing one of these death wings, because it is one of the Karamja diaries. Require or like one of the tasks. Um, so it'd save you a trip down here another time. It now. So anyway, you want to head over here. Then you want to use a you want to use some runes on this wall right here in this order: a soul rune, a mind rune, an earth rune, and two law runes. Then you want to use marked wall, which options or I guess none. Now you have to use your gems on these rocks. Just doesn't matter if you pick the wrong one, just keep trying until one of them works. So that one's red topaz. I think the one over here is sapphire. Yep. And then this one right here is diamond. And this one's ruby. Yep. This one is Jade, possibly. I'll go to that one after this one. I think this one is either Emerald or Opal. So Jade on this one. Never mind, I guess Emerald on this one. <clears throat> and then finally Jade on this one. You'll get blasted into the center of the room. A book should pop up. After a little while, I guess. Um, okay, there we go. There's the book. Take the book. You want to use marked wall. Head back out jump over jagged wall and there's a boss fight coming up when you teleport out and go and bank first before it then you will have to get some more water on your in your golden bowl and you do that just the same way you did the first time by getting a reed and using it on the pool. So once you're back out, you want to use your golden bowl of water on the flames. And then use your binding book on this guy. Use the binding book on him. Don't talk to him. Use the binding book on him. And the demon should pop up. Now you want to kill the demon. He'll drain your prayer down to one. Or so sometimes you'll have a little bit more than one, but usually um, he'll drain it down pretty low. And wow, he's hitting quite a bit. Yeah. 
he dies, he'll do a little bit of final, final damage to you, so make sure you have like 6 plus HP. Then you want to talk to this guy, don't attack him, talk it to him. And then your option is 1, ask for the seeds. And then your option 2, or I mean, then your option 3, okay thanks. You want to touch firewall. Now you want to head out. Use your golden bowl on your yomi tree seeds to germinate them. Then you want to swing your bowl roarer. I guess you don't have to do that actually, just teleport or just go to bank. Um, so wherever you want to bank, I'm heading to Castle Wars. Drop these rocks, and now you want to withdraw the, lot, the other items that you need, which is three cosmic runes, a argigal, snake weed, a vial of water, an unpowered orb, and a rope. And I would recommend bringing um, as much food, and or I'd, bring, I'd recommend bringing two stamina potions, and then as much food as you can carry. that you want to head back to the Kazari jungle and then to the gliders to get back. Also I'd recommend super store and prayer potions if you're a lower level um, or you aren't very good at prayer flicking. defense bonuses. So I still have 130 defense bonus and I have been getting hits by wolves and that demon pretty hard with 85 defense. That's a little surprising to me. Uh, but yeah, so make your way back here. You want to head back to the same underground area that you were at before. I guess first you want to use your bull roar to talk to um, the Gujo guy, whatever his name is. I'm going to head back to the area that I crossed at before that you only have to um, go through two bushes. And it's right next to the rocks. Once you're through, you want to use your bull roar. I think this chicken might have. Okay, so I'm gonna head over here a little bit further away from this these uh, NPCs. Use it. So ask about the Yomi tree seeds, the fertile soil. Okay, so now you want to head, you actually want to head to the little lake. And make room for one, or drop something. And then use your machete on the reed. Use that reed on the little pond. And it will, it will say it's dried up, so you can pick up your thing you drop now. Use your bull roarer. Speak to Gujo. Options one, options two, options two, and five. Now use your snake weed on the vial of water, then use your Ardragol on that. I should make a bravery potion. You want to head back to the 
dungeon area. Once down here, um, oops, you want to go the same way you went before, search the bookcase, which options one to go through. Once again, when you use the pick lock on this door, make sure to read the dialogue so that you don't actually break it, because they will only break it if it says pick lock is broken and then you click to continue. So if you just like click to walk away or you use your pick lock on it again, then it won't actually break. So once you see the click, then you can continue through the dialogue and smash the boulders. So just make your way through here the same way you did last time, use marked wall, you should end up over here, and then you want to use whichever charge orb spell that you brought, you want to use that on this door. Once you're in here, use your rope on the winch, drink your bravery potion, and head down the winch. Now you want to make your way across these um, rocky ledges. The best thing is actually if you just fall at the top, the first one, fall all the way down. Unless you have no food. If you have no room for food, then that may not be the best option. Right? And you don't really get a side anyway, so it's just random, whatever happens. But if you don't fall down, you have to make your way all the way down through all these rocks. And you may get hurt anyway, just from like that, what happened right there. And the thing is, even if you fall like all the way down on these lower ones, it still damages you, I think, as much as it does on the higher ones. Like that. So anyway, once you're down here, you want to kill it. Jolin. And after you kill Tojalin, you want to kill Ervig Sene. After you kill him, you want to kill a third one, that which should be over here. The Veer. After you've killed those three, you want to head north and use all of these on the furnace. These little red crystals that you got. If you get a heart shaped crystal, head over here to this um, slab of rock right here. And it's like the eye of the dragon. If you look at my mini map, it has like the face of a dragon. And the slab of rock is at its eye. So once you're over here, you want to use your heart-shaped crystal on the recess. Head through the magical barrier. 
Head west. And now push the boulder. Speak to the ghost. Your option is 1 1. 2 1 1. And this is for the shorter path. Um, I think it might be a little bit harder. I, I never do the longer path, but that's what the guide says. It says this path is shorter, but it's a little bit harder. Um, I'd recommend it though. Probably even for low levels. And that's the one I'm going to do. So you get this dagger from that um, ghost. And you want to head up this um, little hill again. Take the blue hat, wield your sword, and attack this guy. Now you want to head back down, same way. It would have been so nice if I just fell and took 26 damage when I was at the very top, but that like never happens. It's always when I'm on the last one I fall and take a whole bunch of damage. Anyway, so you want to head back over here to where the boulder was at. And I wonder what the stats on this sword are. I've never looked. Okay, so they're pretty horrible. So once you're down here, you are going to be doing a boss fight. You want to push the boulder again. And the demon will appear, drain your prayer once again, be just like before. Once he's dead, you want to push the boulder again. You want to use your bowl on the spring or river, whatever. And now I teleport to or head to a bank, so I'm going to teleport to Castle Wars. And the final fight is coming up, so I'd bring lots of prayer potions and food and whatever you're going to use to kill him. So I'm going to bring a, two super stores and the rest food. And I'm going to head back to the duel arena, head back there with the gliders. So once you have your food, you just want to make your way back to the Kazari jungle, whichever way you're going. And I wouldn't bank these items, machete, axe, pickaxe, whatever, because I'm not sure if you need it or not. So just bring whatever food you can carry along with those things. And I went the wrong way. So you want to cross the river? I'm 
gonna go ahead and go through this path or this spot. Hopefully it doesn't take forever to cut these trees again. Once you're through, you want to head back to the lake and fill your bowl with water. I guess it's more of a pond, not really a lake. And you fill it the same way as you did before. You use a machete on the reed and use the reed on the pond. After you do that, you want to plant your yomi trees on this fertile soil. And then use your uh, bowl of water once it grows. And it should have grown, so maybe you have to use the bowl roarer first and talk to There's too many savages around. Speak to him. Uh, Try options three. How do I make a totem pole? And try option one. Now use your seed on the fertile soil. Then use your bowl of water on the tree. Then use your axe on the tree when it grows again. You have to do this quick or else you will have to or else it'll die and you'll have to do it again. Use it on the tree again and on the trimmed totem or whatever. And then pick it up. Now you want to head over here to this totem pole. Now get ready for the boss fight. Uh, so you want to use your totem pole on the totem pole. This guy will pop up and attack you a few times. And then this ghost will show up. That ghost is dead, the demon will show up again and will attack you a couple times. So you want to keep your health high or keep Protect from Melee on or else he could kill you. You can't eat while he's um, doing this. And then the next ghost will pop up. The demon will pop up once again and attack you. And then the third and final ghost will show up and you have to kill it. After that one's dead, the demon will pop up, and now you have to kill the demon once again. We'll drain your prayer. You won't drain it completely, but he should leave it at like 1 to 10. I think I was just left with 8 right there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Once he's dead, you'll want to use your totem pole on the totem pole once again. This dude should pop up and talk to you and give you a golden totem pole. Teleport, or go to a bank, I'm going to head to Castle Wars. And once you're at a bank, get a RD teleport. Teleport to RD. And you want to head back to the Legends Guild, and that should be quest complete. Speak to this dude. He'll tell you to speak to him inside the guild, so you want to head through here now. Speak to him right here. That should be quest complete. I guess you know, you'll want to choose your experience first. I'm going to call him on, on agility. That should be quest complete.